Hello everyone, 2008 for the scape and today we are replacing the sway bar bushing on a driver side. We recently done the strut, uh, so now we will replace the bushing. First thing you need to do uh, to disconnect your sway bar link from the bottom or the top, doesn't really matter as long as the sway bar uh, can move up and down. We had undone the top recently, so we will remove that. That's 15 mil nut, and we hold with 19 mil wrench on, on the back. In some cases, you might need to use uh, like Allen key or Torx inside the stud uh, to hold it in place. This is Moog, so it has 19 mil uh, wrench in place on the back. So at this point, uh, nothing holds that sway bar link on this side anymore. So next, we need to remove the bracket that hold the bushing. And the bracket is attached by two bolts, one on the front and one on the back. Uh, they are 15 mils. And all you need is just a 15 mil shallow socket and ratchet. Uh, there is not much room to put an impact. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting it loose and then work it out um, until you get those bolts out. You can always use some um, WD-40 to spray underneath the bolts if needed. In my case, they came out quite easily. Uh, so the first one is removed and uh, the one on the back, uh, we will need to get under the car. So we are under the car. And you can see that bolt is just over there. Again, not much room, shallow socket 15 mil. On the other side, it's even more difficult to see it. So now when both bolts uh, are removed, you can pull out the bracket uh, and get the uh, bushing out. So it's, it can be split on the front. Uh, so just using the screwdriver, uh, you can wiggle it out. Uh, in some cases, uh, like on the driver side, it, um, it's probably easier to go from the back and push it to the back. On the passenger side, uh, there is not much room on the back, so you can uh, get it out from the front, kind of I'm doing it here. Um, though on a driver side, honestly, it's easier to go and removed from the back. So this is the bushing. Uh, you can see that um, the bracket sits inside it. Um, so you can you, you should clean any debris and dust under the bushing. Uh, in my case, there was lots of loose dust and mud. Uh, so the new bushing should be absolutely the same split on the front. So the shallower part goes into the frame and thicker part goes uh, to the top. Um, so basically, uh, you want to make sure that even number on top of the bushing is pointing up. So now it's just a matter of uh, getting it on top of the uh, sway bar. And again, uh, since there is lots of room on the, from the back, it might be a good idea to go from the back versus from um, the side of the car. Um, as you can see, it's not really simple, but if you go from the back, it's much easier. Uh, so then you need to make sure that your bushing is aligned with those two holes where the bracket goes in. Um, since the bracket sits inside the bushing, um, you, you might need to move it to make sure that that groove is a line uh, on a bushing and on a bracket and uh, the bolt holes are aligned. So if you have trouble starting the bolts, uh, just take another look and maybe move that bushing to the left or to the right, uh, since those bolts usually go quite easily. So we applied a bit of uh, anti-seize on the bolt and we'll uh, get them tight. Uh, in terms of 
the uh, specs, torque specs, um, those bolts um, should be torqued to 52 uh, foot pounds front and back. So we will torque them to the spec. And that's um, pretty much it for the bracket. So last thing is to reinstall the sway bar link. So we'll put it in, uh, put some anti seize and torque it to 46 foot pounds. That's all. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out the links for parts and tools in the description to the video and do it yourself.